Hello people, welcome to Gurukla. I'm Jay. So today in this video, I will walk you through the process of registering yourself for a course on NPTEL. To register yourself for a course on NPTEL, you have to register yourself on a portal called Swayam and the official website for the Swayam uh, portal is swayam.gov.in. So once you have landed on this particular website, you can click on sign in and register and you can simply click on this Google account so you can use the Google account so as to create your login and you can click on this continue button so once that is done you have already enrolled yourself on this particular website with the uh, Gmail account whatever you have logged in onto your Chrome so make sure that you are using your proper working email ID or any email ID which is given by your official organization so once you have done with this you are free to search for the courses you can click on all courses here or the course catalog and click on all and then that will give you what are all the various courses that is available on this particular portal so now i just wanted to register myself for the course called body language so i will search for a course on body language and then yes so this is the course on which i am interested to log in myself uh, to register myself so I will just click on this course and there you can see there are lots of information about this course the course status is upcoming and then the duration of the course is four weeks and then uh, the start of this course is 22nd of August so still I have time and this is an AECT approved FDP course so I can just see what are all the various content that is offered by this particular course and finally I can just click on this join button so that I will enroll myself on this particular course so before you have to register yourself you have to give your details so the details goes like this so you, you are also requested to give your own details because the details whatever you give here is going to be reflected on the certificates whatever you earn so make sure that you are giving the right details over here so while clicking on this particular detail make sure that whether your institution is a uh, local chapter of a swim or not as of my case my institution is a local chapter so I will just give S here Click on save. So there you have got a confirmation message stating you that uh, thank you for registering for the course. So click the announcement tab for any of this. So once you have registered for this particular course that will take you to a details and the notification tab of this particular course. So you can just close this yellow ribbon. And there you can click on the announcement tab and whereas in this announcement tab you will get all the notification or all the information that is posted by the instructor of this course on this particular forum. So here as you could see you can see there are two links you can click on this and then there are a few more there are few content which is posted on this particular thing and then you can just go through all this and then whereas on week zero you have an assignment posted you can click on here and then you can take the I believe that this is an um, <coughs> trial assessment and this is not going to be a weighted one so this is what and this is how we have to take the course over here well yeah so this is how you have to register yourself for a course on NPTEL and this is the process for only registering yourself for taking up the course taking up the course is completely free but you have to pay a sum of rupees thousand or thousand hundred for uh, getting certification for this particular course whatever you are doing on so that what you have to do is you have to click on uh, click for certification exam only then you are eligible for taking up the exam and once on completing the exam you will be getting the certificate so click on this and then you can just this is just in self uh, walkthrough video you can just click on what are all the details that has been asked over here so whereas it will ask you for the name you can give the right name here 
as you can see the name entered here will appear in your certificate so no further changes will be entertained so while typing your name you should be very very careful select your date of birth and then type in your address as this is a temporary I'm not going to give my original details over here because I'm just walking you through and then these are all the temporary details whatever I'm giving so this is how it goes and remember I'm just giving all these details for just to walk you through I'm not going to register now but if you wanted to register yourself you have to give all the necessary details I'm just walking you through this form to just show you what are all the details that will be required to fill this form so it, you will be asked to upload your passport size photo and the size should be 50 KB to 150 KB so make your soft copy of the photo uh, handy and you have to sign on a paper and take a photograph of it and even that photograph should have uh, the size between 50 KB to 150 KB and you should have your ID proof whereas you can upload it in PDF or JPEG format so you can have your other card, voters card, driving license or even your college ID is also fine so in case if you come under this SEST category just click on your applicable option so all these questions are self explanatory you can just click on this so the faculty outside India no I am taking this inside India so I came to know about this through my college and this is I think you should give yes because you may get job opportunities in future so what makes you to register for this particular course so I will just getting in <coughs> so once you are given all the details on the previous form it will ask you for few more details Okay, I should give Thiruvallur here. If you Thiruvallur, you will get the college. So once you have landed on this particular page you can click on this select course and then it will ask you for it will show you the list of courses which you have enrolled and please do remember that you can enroll for any number of courses enrolling for the courses is completely free and there is no limit for enrolling yourself for any number of courses you can take any number of courses but for taking up the exam you have to select the courses for which you are going to take up the exam so I will select my course on which I have enrolled over here so exam day will be 29th of September so of course yes I need an FDP certificate so that is all about here I will just click on add course so that is enrolled here and then you just click on select exam city so if this is the only uh, course that you are going to take up the exam you can just move further or if you are going to take up exam for many courses you can just click on add course and then you can enroll for any other courses so again click on exam city this will ask you for the preference where you are going to take up your test so you can choose the city as per your convenience so exam will be on October 29 so you can schedule your exam accordingly where you will be so click on the edit button and then it will ask you for the state okay, I have to give different preferences I will give Chennai South and I will give this as Salem my hometown so there you can see you have to pay a sum of rupees thousand hundred in order to take this exam so you can confirm all the details once again and then you can click on confirm and pay so once you have landed on this particular page that will show you all the details whatever that you have entered in the previous forms and then it will show you these are all the things for this 
So if you don't want an FDP certificate, you can completely avoid this so that you, you will just end up with 1000 rupees and you can read all the terms and conditions and finally click on I agree to all the above and then you can continue to the payment. So here is what from here on I think most of you will be very familiar in completing the payment process. You can use any of the payment method and you can complete the process. So from there on successful payment you will be registered for the examinations. So I wish you all a good luck for your learning journey. So I will see you in another video until then it's bye from Jai and happy learning.